Hello everyone and welcome to this another video tutorial on Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create this cool glowing particle effect and it's quite easy to make. Okay, I'm going to create a new document for this. We're using a square, the same dimensions mostly. Okay, let's switch to our gradient tool. First I'm going to show you guys the color I used for this. It's a red 86 for zeros and at location 0 and a yellow at location 50 and another red lighter red at location 67 and a hundred black color here and you can save it here I've already done that okay once you have that ready make sure you have radial selected as your gradient and from top here I'm just going to click and drag right in center of the document to have that effect just going to do that again okay once you have that effect there rather click like this okay once you have that effect i set a new background let's create a new layer and i'm going to switch to my brush tool here and let's set a brush default brush here and a small size here make sure your hardness is set to 100 percent or you could lower and it somewhere around 170 uh, or 80 but i'll switch i'll stick to 100 make sure you have a nice 25 pixels white color brush selected and hit on F5 to open up your brush settings select shape dynamics increase that up to 100% size jitter and scatter up to 1000% make sure you have a quarter space here give some 50% spacing and now what I'm going to do is switch to my pen tool and draw a curve so that I have a perfect place to come and once you have that new layer click on stroke path brush stimulate pressure okay that's quite a big brush there let's lower the size a bit there we go I think I'm using 15 okay and that depends on what size you're using really on the wallpaper I'm using 500 pixels as a dimension so it's quite enough for me okay and make sure you create your own new particles in new layers and give a few gaps right in between here I'll show you why okay that's one and another layer I'm going to draw one to come on that way right click delete path let's make another new layer and make another one like so not, not that curve you can still modify your curves by switching to your direct selection tool and then adjusting that to continue switch to your pen tool click once here and continue right click stroke path click on ok and let's hit escape twice to delete the path ok once you have that done let's switch to our brush again and i'm going to lower the size a bit somewhere around half of what it was and pixels fine and then i'm going to create a new layer again my pen tool and let's draw another curves right in between these guys here so that it makes really small tiny particles there just just try to fill in your edges here I'm just trying to fill in most of my spaces I missed out and it's okay I'm making all those in the same layer there here we got small particles and a bunch of big ones here okay now I'm going to group all these particles here control G and call this particles okay and now I'm going to duplicate this group again right click duplicate group click on ok I'm gonna hide the one I just duplicated okay so with this I'm gonna click some control E which merges everything which was on the group and making it in a single layer you can see here okay and I'm gonna add some glow to this so zooming in here go back to go to your blending options of that layer select outer glow and I'll select overlay fill in the opacity up to 100% Increase the size here, some spread here, something like that. Click on OK. And once you have that done, let's duplicate this layer again and click on OK. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the blending options for this layer. So make a layer right below this and merge both of them by selecting them and pressing on Ctrl E. We have that looks weird I know but turn the blending options to overlay 
and lower the opacity there. I'm going to transform this control T and just give a turn. There you go, something like that. And let's turn this guy to overlay also. And lower this. What happened here is our glow is very too strong. Let's switch back to our make it all back and I'm gonna turn the glow to dodge make a quite a small particle shine there we don't want a lot which is affecting our actual thing here let's come back again merge that overlay and over the opacity let's turn this a bit there we go once you have that let's duplicate that again control T transform and let's turn this a bit let's turn it quite a bit more here something like that we can move this around here zoom back here and we we'll turn this particles also to overlay and i'm going to lower this opacity a bit more than the original ones okay let's just move this up here we have quite a few on this side let's Select our lasso tool with this layer selected. I'm just going to select quite a few particles here and holding my Alt and make sure you have your selection tool selected. Hold on your Alt and just drag quite a few particles on that side. Control D to deselect. There we go. Okay, that's our particle effect. I hope you learned something from this and found it interesting. And make sure you visit my YouTube channel for more. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.